So I just drove up Highway 36 um, from Chico and through the, the huge pine mortality areas there. And there's some green trees that are still alive. So what are factors that affect um, the survival of those trees that are, you know, maybe they have 40 or 50% of their crown still green? So, um, what are things that are going to you know, help or hinder their survival? Yeah, so you're talking about fire injured trees, um, yeah. partially burned. So we've, we've done studies on all the tree species in California um, that, that we deal with after fire on the, on the national forest land, white fir, red fir, ponderosa pine, Jeffrey pine. Um, we've, we basically did a study starting in 20, or 2003 where we went out and monitored over 7,000 trees of various species and we measured all their fire injury. We measured damage to the crown, we measured the cambium injury around the base, and we took some information on the types of insect activity that was occurring right after the fire, some beetle attacks. Um, we followed all those trees for five years to, to determine their fate, whether they ultimately lived or died. And from that information, we were able to develop uh, mortality models for each species. And some of the factors that uh, influence survivability, the number one is the amount of crown damage. Uh, secondarily to that would be the amount of cambium damage around the base, and then some of those insect factors like bark beetle attacks. Um, so in very general speaking, of, there's, a lot of, there's, a, there's a lot of variety among species, or between species, but in general, if a crown of a tree gets more than 50% consumed or scorched in the fire, um, the probability of its ultimate mortality goes way up. Anything under that, um, you know, the probability of mortality is relatively low. Mm -hmm. You get into some of these trees where 75% of the crown was killed, um, there's a very high probability that those trees will die. And it may take a couple years. Um, they ultimately may get finished off by bark beetles because mm -hmm. when they've lost that much crown, they're in a really stressed condition um, and they're very vulnerable to bark beetle attack at that time. Okay. So, how much does the like a wet winter following the fire affect the survival prospects? So water's always good for trees. Um, if it continues to be a drought situation, um, all trees are under stress and at risk to mortality from bark beetles. And so trees that have that additional stressor of having fire damage around the base in the cambium or crown damage are certainly going to be at a higher risk. Um, and having the drought factor um, Trees need water to grow. They need, if what, it, trees can compartmentalize injuries from fire that they receive. If they have good growing conditions, they can put on new wood, put on new foliage. Um, but if there's no water in the soil, um, their ability to do that um, is limited. And so they won't be able to recoup some of those parts, uh, regrow some of those parts that they lost during the fire. All right. And they could, be, they could be definitely more vulnerable to delayed mortality. All right.